Miss Carol's Reading Corner. As we continue our how-to writing unit, I wanted to share with you another how-to book. But before I read that how-to book with you, talk to the person next to you and tell them what how-to books teach us. If you said how-to books teaches us how to do something, you're right! Today, I'm going to read you another how-to book called How to Catch a Star. It was written by Oliver Jeffers, and he also illustrated the book, which means he also drew the pictures. Once there was a boy, and the boy loved stars very much. Every night the boy watched the stars from his window and wished he had one of his very own. He dreamed of how this star would be his friend. They would play hide and go seek and take long walks together. The boy decided he would try to catch one. He thought that getting up early in the morning would be best because then the star would be tired from being up in the sky all night. The next day, he set out at sunrise, but he could not see a star anywhere. So he sat down and waited for one to appear. He waited and he waited and he ate lunch. and waited, and after dinner, he waited some more. Finally, just before the sun was about to go away, he saw a star. The boy tried to jump up and grab it, but he could not jump high enough. So very carefully, he climbed to the top of the tallest tree he could find, but the star was still way out of reach. He thought he might lasso the star with the life preserver from his father's boat, but it was too heavy for him to carry. If only he could up in a spaceship and just grabbed the star. But the only spaceship he owned was made out of paper and it didn't fly well at all. What do you think is going to happen next? Turn and talk to the partner next to you. Perhaps he could get a seagull to help him fly up into the sky to reach a star? But the only seagull he could find didn't want to help. The boy worried he would never catch a star. Just then he noticed something floating in the water. It was the prettiest star he had ever seen. Just a baby star. It must have fallen from the sky. He tried to fish it out with his hands, but when the boy reached out to touch the star, it just rippled through his fingers. Now the boy was sad, but in his heart, the wish just wouldn't give up. Slowly, he began walking home. And that's when he saw it washed up on the bright golden sand. The boy had caught a star, a star of his very own. Yay! Turn and talk to the partner next to you. Share with them your favorite part of this story. Then, after you share your favorite part, tell them the steps in order to catch a star. How do you catch a star? Thanks for watching. See you soon.